All right, welcome back to the TRN Time Machine, and we are going back uh, several years this week and talk about classic McDonald's. I don't know, do you have any like specific memories, Mick, of going to McDonald's as a kid? Was it more of a event, I guess, to you, like it was for me? It didn't start out that way. You know, I was going to McDonald's, you get a Happy Meal, hey, it's great. But it became an event, I don't know probably around 85, 86, maybe when I was seven, eight years old, my, my dad traveled a lot. Like we all know. And when he was gone and my brother wasn't around, uh, mom and I would take off to the closest town to do her, her shopping on Saturday afternoons. And that always included the stop at McDonald's where I'd get a happy meal. She'd get a big Mac and we'd sit and talk and I'd play on the playground a while. And then she would end the visit by getting me a hot caramel Sunday. And mm-hmm. we'd done that probably twice a month. Sometimes maybe just once a month, but yeah, it was an event. And when certain happy meals would come out that I really wanted, that was an event too. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't just go get me happy meals for whatever it was. If it was something, and I'm going to talk about some of this here in a little bit, something that I was already into, then she would try to make an extra point to make sure that week we went to McDonald's to at least get one happy meal during the promotion. So I get something from that. But yeah, yeah uh, her and mine and her visits to McDonald's continued on until I was past the age of Happy Meal. And I started, we were both having a Big Mac combo and sitting there and talking and stuff. So McDonald's. Buying, buying VHS tapes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At that time. Yes, sir. That was one of the things her and I had done to connect all through the years was going to McDonald's together. So a lot of fond memories of McDonald's. Yeah, I've definitely got some myself. Uh, I don't remember, uh, you know, specific times or days or anything that uh, the parents would take me there. Uh, I do remember a couple birthday parties there, which were great. And we didn't have like the the playland or play area that a lot of them do. And a lot of people have really fond memories for. But just the, I don't know, just the aesthetics of the the happy meal boxes the advertising was what really sold me on a lot of the stuff and of course you know they had it during the saturday morning cartoons and everything and you would find out that they're doing a special promotion in there of something that you were into like you were saying and then it was like begging the parents let's go can we go to mcdonald's for lunch you know on saturday (laughs) or whatever over the weekend when uh, the parents were home from work and that's more or less my memories of going there and just kind of when I saw something on TV that I had to have and get a happy meal, that's when I was excited to go. And when we mainly went, it was more or less on a whim. So that's cool. And I've got specific memories of even just the boxes or containers themselves too, Mm -hmm. not necessarily just the toys, which we're going to pick our top five, but what are some of the, like the, the containers and, and, boxes you remember well uh most of mine are on my list so i don't want to spoil it well i'll spoil one when they first debuted the halloween pails Mm -hmm. those things were awesome because it was it was too small really to trick or treat in but just the look of it you could use them for other stuff and the fact that they replaced the normal box with that plastic jack-o'-lantern pail Yes, And then in later years, you know, the Green Witch and the White Ghost. That was a really cool concept that I guess was a big success for them because they'd done them year after year after year for a long time. Yeah, I do remember, yeah, when they were all just the orange ones and then had different faces before they got into the green and the white ones. Mm-hmm. I remember that being a big deal and, you know, getting the, the Halloween uh, gift certificates, too. Uh, around that same time. So those are kind of linked together for me. The ones that I remember, I remember a Dukes of Hazard container, one mm-hmm. that was orange for the General Lee and one that was, I think, white for the Roscoe's police car. Mm-hmm. Um, that was pretty early on uh, a memory. And then there was another one where they did like a spaceship and it opened up kind of top and bottom. Those two are kind of ingrained in my memories. I don't know what toys that that came with those. If there was like Dukes of hazard toys, there might've been, uh, those didn't, uh, make my list, but those are the two containers themselves that were just different from the normal box that were great. In those, in those situations, the box was the toy. 
Okay. Because it was a vacuum form box that once you got your food out, you could put back together and then you had a spaceship to play with. Yeah. So, yeah. And I seen they had like uh boats and stuff as well. You could take and, you know, put on the water and there was a lot of those type of uh, molded containers, you know, mm-hmm. that were really great. And I didn't really uh, mention this. Uh, it kind of spurred me on to go over to YouTube and, and do a, a little tribute video, uh, which had some of those types of containers in there too that I snagged. But I did a tribute video that will will debut, I guess, maybe when this podcast drops, Mick, mm-hmm. of just basically uh, the boxes and the toy, the Happy Meal toys pulled from a commercial. And I found this great song. I don't even know who uh, produced the song because it's on one video that I found on YouTube. And I've tried to Google to give credit where credit is due for this great song, but it's basically just the, uh, like a, the lyrics are just kind of take you back. They talk about going to McDonald's and getting all the, the items and the happy meal. And, uh, I think, what do they say? Golden smile, I think is the name of the song or something, but mm-hmm. anyway, we'll drop that. That'll help you get a little taste of, you know, beyond of, of the podcast, but Let's get into it, man. Let's let's talk about our favorite Happy Meal, Happy Meal toys uh, from well, back in the day. I'll go first, but before I do, mm-hmm. I showed you, I sent Jason a picture of this the other day. I, I have an accompaniment for this. There is an excellent book by Terry and Joyce Lazonski called McDonald's Happy Meal Toys that I picked up several years ago. And this thing has pictures of every Happy Meal McDonald's ever produced, even the regional releases. It's uh, 240 pages, and it has a little bit of history. Uh, and here at the beginning, let me see here, it says uh, 1979, the Circus Wagon Happy Meal was the first national Happy Meal promotion. So I'm looking here. I got to go just a little bit farther ahead to see a picture of it. I That's actually, it's in the, the video. Anniversary. I pulled one of those clips from a, a commercial with that Circus Wagon meal. It's in now, that video. That Circus Wagon is the very first one, but there were other Happy Meals before that regional happy meals and, and test things where they were testing the idea. So, but my first one you've already touched on, I'm doing mine in chronological order because it's too hard for me to actually put them in a favorite list. Okay. So first on my list, 1982, those Dukes of Hazard happy meals. Okay. And I did, that's why I didn't say much when you were talking about, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> but those come out in 1982, which was earlier. I wouldn't have thought being four years old that I would still remember them as vividly as I do. So I was thinking like 83, 84, but they come out in 1982 and you're right. They were the vacuum form containers and there were five different ones. You had the orange General Lee that you mentioned and you had Roscoe's car. You also had a white boss hog car, Daisy's Jeep and Uncle Jesse's truck. Oh, wow. I remember having all of those at the time. That was one that I really was head over heels into. Uh And part of the promotion, if you bought the Dukes of Hazard Happy Meal, you could upgrade your your Happy Meal drink to a large drink, and it came in the Dukes of Hazard plastic cup. Oh, nice! They had six of those. You had, you know, Bo and Luke each had their separate cup, and then Roscoe, Boss Hog, Daisy, and Uncle Jesse. So uh, uh, Cooter got the shaft, huh? Cooter got the <laughs> shaft. Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize they had uh, five of those. But in '82, gosh, I was only six years old, so that's crazy that I can still remember that. And the boxes came plain Jane, undecorated, but inside the you box had the stickers. was the sticker sheet yeah. for the windshields and, and to put on for like where the tires would go and the headlights and stuff. And I remember taking these, you know, Dukes of Hazard was famous for the car chases and crashes. I would take these with that vacuum form and run them into each other and they would get all crinkled up. And then you open them and push them back out from the inside. Puff them, yep. Puff them back in. Well, you could uh, do that a few times anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. But they were that still was, cheap plastic, but <laughs> that's the earliest Happy Meal I can remember. Yeah. And before you go on to your first pick, the spaceships that you were talking about came out in 1981. Oh wow! Okay. They're here on the opposite page of the Dukes of Hazard <sighs> in this book, and there were uh, I can't tell if there were three. There were four different ones: a blue one, a light green, a dark green, and a red. That's crazy that I can remember getting those Happy Meals specifically five and well, six years old as an honorable mention on my list in 1981, there was the McDonald land express, which were train cars in vacuum form 
form. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but at the back in front of them, it had a little tab that you could pop them together and actually hook the different boxes together. So, oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, there was an engine, a caboose, a box car, a uh, simulated flatbed with something on it. I think there were only four cars in that one. But Cool. No, I lie. That was from 1982 as well. There were uh, two colors of engines, two colors of cabooses, and three different colors of box cars. And different stickers change them into different box cars. So, fun. Yeah. Well, that's okay. my first pick. Okay. Maybe I'll go in chronological order then with mine because I did write down the year. So, I'm going to go back to the original Hot Wheels, which was the, I think, 83, 84 time frame. And they, I think they did several releases, and they had, uh, with each release, they changed up the cars a bit. But I remember having several specific cars in my Hot Wheels collection mm-hmm. that I got from uh, McDonald's. And those were some of the, the best commercials, too, going back to watch, because they were <laughs> they put the track, like, I don't think it came with the orange track, but... It looked like the box was set up that you could run orange track through it or something and and or jump your car through there. I but, know later later releases they did have perforated sides on the boxes that you could punch out to make like a tunnel through the box. So maybe that was it. Yeah. yeah. That was that was later on. But yeah, back in the day, the the sheriff car that had the seven oh one on the roof, it was a black and white sheriff car. I remember having that. There was the like General Lee knockoff, which is the Dixie Challenger they called. I had that one. The the old like back in the fifties blue pickup with the yellow motorcycles, plastic motorcycles in the bed. Mm-hmm. I had that one in my collection. That was a McDonald's car. The long dragster one with the pointy nose. They call it the Tricar X8. Mm-hmm. That's a specific one. I remember pulling out of yeah. a Happy Meal. Red with white fins. Yes, or something, right? yes, yeah. had the white fin. Yeah, and the I think the red like rubberized nose, so you didn't like take out somebody's eye with it. Uh, and then the other two, the funny car that you could lift up the whole body, and you had the engine and everything on the inside, like you could lift that up and see. And then there was a there's one called the Baja Breaker, which was an orange like van. Mm-hmm. With, a, with black a black hood, hood. yeah, yep. that you could open up. Those are the specific cars. Just looking at the advertisements and stuff that I remember having in my collection, and that they probably came from Happy Meals. So, um, well, I'm looking here at the original 1983 release, and that funny car is not listed or is not pictured anyway. That might have uh, been uh, the next year then, because right. I saw two different advertisements or lists that had that funny car was like one of the first ones out in the, in the list. And also it, it's interesting to note here on these pictures, it shows all of these hot wheels individually packaged in hot wheels packaging. Mm-hmm. But it says uh, it was a national distribution. It was optional too. not McDonald's weren't required to take care of it. Uh, different cars were given out and or sold in different regions, which seems to contradict the next part here. But cars could be purchased for fifty nine cents after purchasing a Happy Meal, so I guess you had to buy those oh, okay. in addition. Yeah. And it's really interesting. There's a big picture here: fourteen cars in all, a different car every day, and it it shows them all on display and what day of each week that car would be the Happy Meal toy. Interesting. And it and it says that here in another advertisement, it shows uh, a different car every day. Uh, that van you were talking about. Mm-hmm. The promotion started on a Friday. It was the third one released. It came out on the Sunday of the first week. So it's interesting. Yeah. This book is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a bit. I've got to pick up a copy myself. We'll put a we'll put a link in the show notes. Well, Maybe I had to get on this. Amazon or something. Well, it's it's not. I oh, had to not. get it. Uh, well, I used I got it used through Amazon. And it was the only copy of it I could find then. There may be some others now on there. But we'll try uh, to do some research. When is this book from anyway? Let me see. 1995. So this is up through 95. Nothing after that, apparently. Well, Which that's all you, that's all you all need. The, that's all I need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, what's your next one? Well, let me just keep touching. I counted okay. here on this picture. There's 14. I remember. Now, my brother may have gotten them because I inherited all his Hot Wheels. They all become one big collection. But 
There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of the 14 cars I remember having. So if these were, and it may be that these weren't exclusive to McDonald's, like they may have been in the store and you may have could have got them both ways. So I'm not sure all of his came. But the next one on my list, we're going to 1986 and, and much like the Halloween pails that they done, we've got the beach pail, Happy Meals, where you got the, the bucket for the beach with a handle and a lid and it come with a plastic shovel. Mm-hmm. And I remember this come out in 86. There was an earlier version, but I can actually remember some of the designs on the bucket I had helped me track down exactly which set I had. We used to take the yearly trips to the beach and I remember getting this at the beach and taking it to the beach (laughs) to play with it. And for years, the reason I can remember the design for years after that trip, it's what my mom kept her clothespins in, (laughs) in the (laughs) washroom to take up to the, to hang clothes on the wash. Yeah. And when the Halloween pails come along after that, that's what the uh, clothespins went into. Yeah. I don't remember the beach ones specifically, but I did. uh, That was another one that I found uh, the commercial for on YouTube and put in that tribute video. Uh, well, they really changed cool. it up slightly the following year. It was the same buckets with a different design, and they added a plastic rake. They called them picnic pails that year. So you were either going to get a shovel or a rake to go play in the yard with, I guess. And gotcha. the beach pails weren't the first ones. In 84, they had some Olympic pails. I don't know what the tie-in was, but it was buckets with celebrating the 84 Olympics. Buckets of gold medals. I don't know. That is yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, the next one for me, I think, was in the 84, 85 era, and that was the pullback racers. Oh, yes, they came with. out several times. Right, and they had the McDonald's land characters. Uh, you had the ones that I specifically remember having was the Big Mac with the police car. Yep, I had that and too. And the, uh, the Hamburglar, he was in the longer kind of red race car. Mm-hmm. Uh, they also had a Ronald in the yellow Jeep and Birdie in the pink like race car made by Ertl. But I was a huge fan of like the penny racers back in the day. You remember oh, those? Yeah. Oh man. Yes, sir. Oh gosh. I love those. And I don't remember these specifically being penny racers, but I think they were just pull back and some of the shorter ones I think would still do like a little wheelie as you, you know, let them go. But I love penny racers back in the day and those were perfect, man. Yeah, um, did you say you had one with Birdie in it? Because I don't think she came along to 87. No, I didn't have the Birdie one. I had the Big Mac in the police car and the Hamburglar in that red race car. Yeah, I believe 80... It says Fast Mac 2, or Fast Max 2 is what they were called. Mm -hmm. So it says Fast Max 2. I was flipping back to find the first series of them and see when they came out, but I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing them right now. I had seen them earlier today. And I think, oh, wait a minute. 1984 was the first ones. Big Mac in the uh, white police car, Hamburglar in the red sports car, the mayor in the pink sun cruiser, and Ronald in a yellow Jeep. And then 85, you had Birdie in the pink sun cruiser, Hamburglar in the red sports car, a re-release, Big Mac in the white car, re-release. And then Ronald was in uh, the same yellow Jeep. So... It's like they they replaced the mayor with Birdie, and all the rest of the cars were the same that year. So, gotcha. Yeah, those are great. I love. Pl- I remember playing with those a lot. Well, my mom. It's not something I brought here. She still has my the mayor or the 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 cop still has uh, yeah. the cop in the white car down at her house. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I wish I kept some of these, but yeah, I mean, you know, Happy Meal toys weren't unless you're buying Hot Wheels that were actually legit hot wheels you know a lot of this stuff was just plastic and you play with it a few times and something happens to it and that's it and they get thrown away you know (laughs) well they don't have much besides like you said the real toys they were great for the fact that if you were going to get a happy meal but you weren't going to a store or you were and you weren't going to be bought a toy like when we were growing up you didn't get something every time you went to the store at least this gave you a new quote-unquote toy for a couple of days Right. So, yep. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, what's next, next? 1986, the first year they released uh, little packs of constructs with Happy Meals, which 
longtime fans of the Retro Network, one of the earliest things we put on there was me talking about how Constructor were one of the best toys of the 80s. And I remember having all of these sets. This would have been one that I convinced my mother since I was already into Constructs that I wanted to get all these. And there were four different little sets where you could build four standalone toys. But when you got all four, you put them together and it made a pretty nice little spaceship. Cool. If you managed to get all four of them. And I had the glow in the dark space pieces. I think it was the year the space pieces came out in the regular line too. Yeah, there were four different sets. I had them all and it made a nice little spaceship when you were done. Cool. I didn't get into constructs as a kid and really not Legos too much. I know they did Legos with Happy Meals several times. For, for several, yeah, several years. So that was not really uh, something I got into or ever remember collecting from McDonald's. Well, like the Hot Wheels, and I think parents were easier to convince to get you a Happy Meal if it had a real toy in it. Right, yeah. Like, I'm already into constructs, and you have to buy sets to get more pieces. Well, here's a way to get me something to eat for dinner and some more constructs. So it was my mother was not opposed to that in, in any way, necessarily. So, All right, well, next up for me, uh, we're going to jump to 1987 and the Muppet Babies. Oh, yes. The one I specifically have, remember having was Baby Fozzie on the yellow hobby horse with the wheels. <laughs> I remember that one for some reason specifically. And I, I think I had Gonzo in that tricycle as well. Fozzie was the only one I didn't have. I had the other three. Really? Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, that was – I love Muppet Babies. That was huge. Uh, a huge deal on Saturday mornings for me. So when that hit, it was like, yeah, I got to get these. But I don't even remember having a couple of them. And I was reading, too, they released one in Canada that was Animal. That was the only where you could find that one. Animal in a wagon. Let me refer to the book here. Fozzie, Gonzo, Kermit, Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy. Well, you can take that one for what it's worth because that was on, uh, I think, the Muppets Wiki. So, Well, it's possible. I mean, this may just be U.S. Well, I saw the picture, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it happened. And, but yeah, I don't, those were the only two that I remember. But they, they were great. I thought they were good. And the commercials were great, too, because it looks like, like Kermit was on the skateboard and they made like a little ramp or something out of the box that he could skate down. Yep. Yep. You would pop that in and it would kind of lock and you had a place to launch him from. And I remember getting the Kermit from, I was on a day trip with my old man when he must have been summertime and or I don't know. Let's see when this says it was released. I'm not saying it's not really important. Now. Anyway, but I remember taking Kermit on his little skateboard on the on the drive back, I guess, and just running him all over the dash and around the door panel <laughs> and just <laughs> trying to entertain myself with that Kermit and skateboard that day. Yeah, those are great. All right. What else you got? Well, I am going to uh, back to 19 no i'm staying in 1987 for the berenstain bears toys Mm -hmm. happy meal yep and the boxes too the boxes were really cool on those uh but you had papa bear with a wheelbarrow and mama with a laundry basket and brother on a scooter and sister in a wagon and there again the berenstain bear books were my favorites and the cartoon had come on i think cbs in 85 hey go back and listen to an old episode of the podcast and correct me if i'm wrong folks because we talked about it (laughs) (laughs) It's 85. But anyway, so that was another easy one that she didn't mind getting me because it was just, it just fit everything I was already doing anyway. And those were unique because they were the molded PVC figures mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they had the fuzzy heads for like yeah, right, their, yeah. their bear skins, which was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I do remember those. I don't, I don't remember. It seems like I had maybe one or two at most in, in my little like box of action figures or something, but it wasn't really a huge deal. But going back and watching the commercials and everything, and the the boxes were great too. Uh, almost like their houses, the mm-hmm. the uh, treehouse, right, and some other buildings. Or well, they had the school and the and their house. And another thing, the treehouse part you're thinking of is the countertop display that McDonald's had. Oh, okay, okay. Because it was the ad for them, and it had the little cellophane windows with each figure in it at different parts in the treehouse. It's a nice concept, nice display piece for that. Cool. Yeah, those were great. And I still have, and I think we featured it on a YouTube video where 
JJ was getting some stuff out of my retro cabinet, she actually pulled out the Papa Bear figure, and we yes. talked about it. I do remember that. I still have my Papa Bear. Cool. So the next one up for me was actually released about, I think they had three different releases. And the first one was in 1987. And that is the Changeables. Mm-hmm. The, the transforming uh, McDonald's food items. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky enough to find a couple at RetroCon. Uh, I think it was last year that we went and I was like, oh, this is like an instant purchase for me because I remember having some, I remember having the shake and I think the, one of the came in the styrofoam boxes. I don't know if it was the, they had to have hot cakes maybe in one of them. And then they had like a, what was their old styrofoam cases, you know, Mm -hmm. um, but the ones that I picked up were the burger and the French fries. See, they had a Big Mac sandwich, chicken McNuggets, and I'm looking at the picture. That's the one that kind of looks like a styrofoam container. Mm-hmm. Egg McMuffin, large French fries, quarter pounder, and milkshake. So it looks like I got the French fries from the 87 collection. That's what's stamped on the bottom. And then I have the burger. That looks That says 1988. So that must have been the next year. That's just the hamburger. It's not the Big Mac so or cheeseburger. So I found those two. I was so excited when I found those. I was like, oh, those are cool. Because I remember having those. Of course, that's the the height of Transformers, GoBots. And they were smaller. They were kind of like, you know, the GoBot style. So mm-hmm. I remember, like, using them, interacting them with, like, the regular Transformers <laughs> and GoBots as a kid. But I did not remember the ones. They had ones that were dinosaurs mixed in. Hmm. And that was later. That was like 19. That was in the 90s, I think, when I was looking, looking. uh, doing some research. But the ones I remember are the the earlier ones that were just the robots that turned from all the food items. Yeah, I'm looking through 1988 here to see if uh, I don't see any in 88. Try 89. 87, I think it was 87, 89, and maybe 90. 87 was the, uh, or no, 89 was the multicolored Halloween pails. And there went the burger. <laughs> oh, these are great, man. I think they've got them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 89 would have been. Okay. 89 had a Lost in Space changeable. And Jeepers peepers tongue tippers <laughs> who's that robo cakes galactica burger fry force crypto cup macro mac turbo cone c2 cheeseburger Frybot. <laughs> that's cool that they named them man <laughs> yeah and they all had names like transformers would yeah i mean it ain't as catchy as optimus prime or starscream <laughs> But C2 Crypto cheeseburger, cup. yeah, C2 <laughs> cheeseburger is still pretty hot. <laughs> Frybot, yeah. Oh, I never had any of the changeables myself. You never did? I just, no, I just missed out on those. I've seen them for years online, but I missed that altogether. Oh, they're so great. I need to take these and, you know, I, I talked about I like to fidget while I'm on the phone at work. Mm-hmm. I need to have these on my desk and I can just fidget with them. While I'm at work. Cool. Okay. Well, what's next for you? You got well, one my, more, right? Yeah, my last one is 1988, and you've already talked about Hot Wheels, but I picked this set from 88. Mm-hmm. And the 88 set is the one that had the speed ramp punch out in the box that we oh, were talking okay. about. Okay. And there were 12 different cars. It doesn't say anything about them being like a, a consecutive day release or anything. So. I don't know what the release schedule for these were, but they also had multiple version, multiple colors of the same cars. Oh, really? Yeah, like uh, the '57 T Bird came in turquoise and white. And cool. Of course, now I see them both pictured here on the same advertisement too. But there were several of them. There was one, the the Fire Eater Fire Truck, the famous red fire truck from Hot Wheels. Mm-hmm. They released an exclusive yellow and blue version of it for the Happy Meals. You cool. could get the red or the yellow blue, and the yellow blue looks like it was really rare because 
the other cars in this price guide list everything being at eight to ten bucks, and that one's listed at two fifty to three hundred. So it wow. must be pretty rare. Well, you know, you think if you're a Hot Wheels collector, the McDonald ones are, I ain't gonna say harder to find, but a lot of them are. I guess that one really is harder to find. Yeah, because they do different paint schemes with the same body style and everything nowadays too. So that makes sense that they. Would have done that back in the day too, and if you're at only at McDonald's versus a store, then mm. that make it even more rare. These were actually cars may have been given in different regions. It doesn't say uh, there was one, two. There's two of them here, three of them with asterisks that say they were only released on the East Coast. So I'm surprised those don't mm. carry heftier price tags. Because you just think naturally they'd be a little more limited. Right. But that's my list. Okay. What's last on yours? The last one on mine, I don't remember ever collecting as a kid, but uh, collecting Batman memorabilia over the years. I found these on eBay in their original packaging still. It's from 1991. The uh, Batman Returns Happy Meal Toys. And... These now it was it's funny going back and uh, you're watching the commercials and and doing some research. Some of these were not in the movie. <laughs> Catwoman did not have her own little car that wagged a tail, you know. No, but that would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been great. Uh, Penguin did have that kind of huge duck boat thing, but didn't have this one that has the spinning umbrella on the top. Uh, the Batmobile looks like the 89 Batmobile or 91. And then they you got the 91. I yeah. Thought you really 92. 92. Yeah, 92. Right. It's 92. That's right. But, and then this other one actually says 1991 on the packages. Um, the other one kind of looks like the Bat Missile, but it's weird. It's got like tank tracks in the back. So it's not. Yeah, exact. I'm seeing that. I've got pictures of them here. But if you've ever. Uh, done the research on these there was like a huge backlash from parents and the whole you know community that they were tying in happy meal toys to that movie which was very Mm -hmm. dark toned and violent and all that so it was one of the i don't know if it was like the earliest one or if there was some other stuff beyond that you know i can think of like garbage pal kids where you know parents were (laughs) up in arms about and Right. Stop some of that content from coming out, like the the cartoon series. But yeah, this is the first time I remember hearing or or thinking about something associated with a Happy Meal toy that was a huge, you know, backlash moment. And they actually, I'm not sure if they, I think they got pulled like early, um, weren't uh, available, you know, like very long or or something like that. I'll have to look into that. I don't know if your book has anything about that. No, it don't um, go into details quite like that. But just trying to do some research on online, I could probably dig in and find out a little bit more about it. But it seemed that it was put out. There was a huge backlash, and they pulled them, you know, early before the either before the movie hit or something like that. Can't can't remember. But they're they're cool. I like the uh, I like that they're different. They're not necessarily specific for the movie that they're almost their own thing you know mm-hmm. which well they have uh, it looks like the actual batmobile looks just like the one in the movie right so. the batman press and go car um that one looks like the one where the the batmobile splits and the middle section kind of is the one that he drives and, and kind of goes through that uh building i think it was well, a couple of movie. notes on 92 there. You mm-hmm. Late 91, early 92 is when they quit doing the boxes because it shows the pictures of the bags. And oh, that okay. Batman Happy Meal came in a bag, but the bag was colored up to look like a comic book page. So that's kind of cool. cool. But 92, listen to this murderer's row of premiums in Happy Meals. Just for all of 92, they done Back to the Future Happy Meals, mm-hmm. Barbie, Hot Wheels, Batman, Cabbage Patch Kids, Tonka, Crayola, Michael Jordan Happy Meal, Halloween 92, whatever that is, Potato Head Kids, Real Ghostbusters, Tiny Toon Adventures, Yogi Bear, and Young Astronauts. (laughs) 
So wow. they, they were at their peak of tie-ins in that period because I looked through the beginning of each year on here has a full list of all the Happy Meals. Mm-hmm. And in the early years, in the 80s, they'd have like four or five promotions and then eight or nine just generic McDonald's stuff. Right. So that, that's a pretty good list right there <laughs> from 92. They yeah. were all in on the tie-ins. Yeah, as far as licensed and, yeah. 1990, I just flipped to it. Barbies and Hot Wheels together. Berenstain Bear Books. Dink the Little Dinosaur. Halloween 90. Jungle Book. Peanuts. Rescuers Down Under. Super Mario 3. Tailspin. Tom and Jerry. That was a pretty good year, too. For mm, yeah. <laughs> And the commercials, like the Super Mario Brothers commercial was great because it mm-hmm. mixed like animation and actual kids, you know, in the commercials. And right. Oh, yeah. They did some great advertising on television to get kids, you know, ready to buy these things. 